Good evening one more time, folks. Yes, it's a banner day. I finally did a third video. Um, so I wanted to discuss, there is um, a motion in, in the Wisconsin courts right now uh, with regards to Stephen Avery um, and bail. And Zellner has basically motioned the court to approve bail for her client, which is about standard operating procedure at this juncture. Uh, but what really gets me about this is that the district attorney has uh, contested this motion, stating that Stephen Avery is a flight risk. What the fuck is the minimum IQ to be an attorney or at the very least a fucking DA in the state of Wisconsin? Seriously. For fuck's sakes, people. Stephen Avery is the single most notorious person on the planet right now. Everybody fucking knows him. Everybody knows his face. Everybody knows his voice. Everybody knows him. There is no way that that man is fucking taking off. Not to mention, I mean... He's just spent 10 years in prison for some shit he didn't fucking do again. And they're saying that he's a flight risk when he would be this fucking close to being exonerated again. I doubt it. The current DA and Kratz must have went to school together. In fact, I think they were roommates. My God. The DA is quoted as saying that Stephen Avery has nothing left to lose. And I disagree. I disagree greatly. See, Stephen Avery right now is one of the most celebrated criminals or, you know, non-criminals in the in the world. In the world. Where the fuck is he going to go? The man has no money. I mean, the only the only place that he could go where he wouldn't be fucking recognized is like Calcutta. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but do you know how much transatlantic flights run these days? There is no way that Stephen Avery is going to take the fuck off when he is that close to exoneration. That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. You know what, folks? I'm gonna I'm gonna read you a little a little. I'll put the article link in the description. You know me. Uh, but I'm just going to read this to you. Let's see here. Uh, His lawyers have stepped up the ferocity of their claims of misconduct against the Wisconsin court system. Despite Avery's fame and the growing worldwide campaign to free him, the second top lawyer in the state of Wisconsin has stepped into the row and is warning he is a flight risk. In a stinging court argument, Avery has accused the prosecution, a member of the jury, and an appeal judge of fraud and misconduct in relation to his conviction and subsequent appeal, which was denied last year. This is accurate, folks. <coughs> First, for the police to do the shit that they did, and then Judge Willis to basically fucking work with the prosecution, as opposed to being the un, you know, the objective bystander that a judge is supposed to be. He sealed Stephen Avery's fate. Then you add on to that that two of those fucking jurors were extremely suspicious. One of whom was the father of a fucking sheriff's deputy. Come on. How is that not biased? Uh, Avery has accused public defender Thomas Aquano of misleading the court by avoiding interviewing 20 employees' names he put forward who are identified as potential whistleblowers in the case. Avery's lawyer Kathleen Zellner has filed paperwork that says Teresa Hallbach's car was tampered with, unsealed, and moved in the pitch black of night after forensics completed work on it on the site of his salvage yard in November during daylight hours. Basically, Zellner has has let every has asserted that after the initial inspection of this car was completed, it was tampered with and moved. Yeah, that sounds about right for Manitowoc County. Now Mr. Avery has requested that he is set free on bail and has accused the Honorable Angela Sukiewicz. I'm sorry. I'm so white. 
of making several misleading and deceptive practices resulting in an earlier appeal being denied. Uh, while he's been told to wait to hear the outcome of a bail request after a motion asking for extra time to respond to his request was filed in court, his latest court date was canceled. They are fucking with him. Hardcore, folks. He had a court date and it was canceled to give the state more time to prepare. You've had 10 fucking years. It's his turn now. You fucking greaseballs. The Wisconsin Department of Justice has asked for more time to file documents to the appellate court in relation to Avery's request. And in a surprising development, Wisconsin's Assistant Attorney General Thomas Fallon has insisted the 53-year-old is a flight risk and has nothing left to lose. Bullshit! He has got everything left to, to lose, Attorney Fallon. He's got everything left to lose. He has his reputation, not to mention his supporters to lose. And there are more of us than there are of you. He has got everything in the world left to lose because now he doesn't just have, like he did with the 1985 case, where, you know, everybody knew that he didn't do it, but it wasn't a worldwide spread thing. Now he has got millions, not thousands, not hundreds, millions, millions of people backing him and Brendan up. If he were to fly now, if he were to take the fuck off on bail now, he would lose. He would run the risk of losing the support of all of us. And that is something that he cannot handle because to lose our support would be to lose his freedom again. Do you understand? Do I have to fucking use smaller words? Because apparently you have a difficult time understanding the simplest of concepts. What the fuck is with the state fucking judicial employees in Wisconsin? Too much chipped beef over white toast. I'm convinced of this. Oh my God. I'm going to send a boatload of fucking hatch green chili up there. See if that doesn't wake up the fucking brain cells. Jesus Christ on a fucking cracker. Oh my God. So that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, you know, Zellner is, is fighting as clean of a battle as she can, given the circumstances that she's under. And the Wisconsin state, the state of Wisconsin and the, the courts are basically trying to sabotage her. And I know why they're doing it. They're doing it <coughs> because they are this fucking close to being exposed. And you know what? It's not just Stephen Avery's case that is about to break. Currently, there is a massive fucking federal investigation into the juvenile justice system in the state of Wisconsin. Part of which is my friend Scott Ellis' son, Bryant who was completely fucking railroaded with zero evidence and nothing but the stories of two little girls who happened to be best friends, one of whom was Bryant's ex-girlfriend, and they lied. They lied and told the fucking police that Bryant had sexually assaulted them, and he was convicted. And not only was he convicted, but his father lost sole legal custody of him as a result of this conviction. And they have lost everything. And it's due to the state of Wisconsin and their dirty ass fucking politics. It's bullshit. And I'm sorry, but at this point, the state of Wisconsin should be shitting itself. Because they are about to be exposed for the thieving fuckwits that they are. I never thought that I would ever say that the state of New Mexico made more sense than anywhere else in this country. But we do. We totally make much more sense. And this is the fucking state where Omari was kicked to death by his mother after nine fucking CPS investigations. And we still make more sense than Wisconsin. That's fucking sad. Wisconsinites, you have to understand something. Today, it is Brendan and Bryant. Tomorrow, it is your child. Do you understand? As a parent, you should be disturbed and terrified because it is your job to protect your child but how do you protect your child from the police that's what i have for this fucking video folks don't forget to go to facebook hashtag justice for bryant and hashtag free bryant uh to read up on bryant ellis and scott ellis's story also don't forget to subscribe to me uh here on youtube
You can follow me on Twitter, Mama Phoenix 6 And don't forget, for those of my people that are in the UK, on April 2nd, there will be a protest uh, at 11 a.m. It will be at the U.S. Embassy. And at 2 p.m., it will be at Parliament Square in London. That's April 2nd. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for Breakfast with Mama, Coffee with Mama, starting at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So that'll be 10 a.m. on the East Coast, 7 a.m. on the West Coast. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.